Hello, welcome. I'm Tani at Yoga 413, and today's class combines common yoga poses with weights to tone and strengthen your entire body. This class is part of my Spring Sculpt series here on the YouTube channel, where every class the month of March will be some type of yoga sculpt class. So not only do I hope you enjoy this class, but I hope you come back and enjoy the entire series. So with that, place those weights out of the way for now near the top of your mat, and let's get started. We're gonna begin in a child's pose. Taking the knees wide, connecting the feet, lower to your mat. And we're simply gonna begin with a few moments of stillness. To arrive mentally on our mat, to take some nice long deep breaths and shake off anything that we need to shake off today. Moving into an extended child's pose by simply reaching your arms forward, pressing into the hands and gently spreading the fingers. Begin to rise up, coming into a tabletop, knees right underneath the hips. Extend your right arm forward and your left leg back for bird dog pose. Releasing down and switching sides, right arm, left leg. And come down. We're gonna start to flow this. So as you inhale, extend into your pose, and then as you exhale, come down. Alternating your sides. So we begin to awaken the body, keeping all those core muscles engaged. Really extend through the fingertips and flex the foot and press through the heel. Start to lengthen. One more time on each side. Then move forward, lower down to the mat. We're gonna move into Sphinx Pose. Forearms to the mat, shoulders right over the elbows. Open the chest for a gentle back bend. Feel those shoulders slide down your back. Coming to the mat, taking the hands by the chest, lift into a cobra pose. Maybe this is a little bit deeper stretch for you, keeping those elbows bent. Releasing. Press your arms straight, downward facing dog. Begin to alternate bending your knees, pedaling out your feet. And then just settle into your stretch into downward facing dog. Moving into a wide leg dog, just walk the feet to the edges of the mat. Bend your knees, press back, and then straighten. Let's do that one more time. Just bend and straighten. Bringing the feet back in, hip distance apart, down dog. Look forward, step the right foot to the outside of the right hand, then the left foot, outside of left. We drop into a yogi squat, just for a moment, and then begin to rise up, arms over your head. Hands back to your heart as you lower down. Keeping that back straight, rise up. Let's do that one more time. Lower down into that yogi squat. Maybe shift your weight side to side. We're just loosening up the hips. Taking the hands to the mat, turn your toes forward. You're in a wide fold. 
begin to straighten those legs and alternate bending the knees, shifting the weight right to left. Again, we're just awakening with some gentle movement. Then settle into the center, cradle those elbows, ragdoll. Hands towards the floor. Start to walk the feet in hip distance apart. We're gonna roll up nice and slow. One vertebrae at a time. Pulling those ab muscles in. Arrive in mountain pose, Tadasana. Reach your arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Half lift, lengthen the spine and fold. Step back to a high plank. We're gonna hold in our high plank. Shoulders are right over the wrist. This first time, we're gonna drop our knees to the mat, bend the elbows and lower all the way to the mat. Lift into cobra, downward facing dog. So we're just flowing through our sun salutation. We always, or I like to always, show you the supported version first for those of you who want to take that throughout the class. Step the feet forward, lengthen your back, and fold. Inhale, rise up, high mountain, come up strong. Exhale, forward fold. Long spine lengthen, and fold. Stepping to high plank, shift forward, chaturanga, elbows in. Flipping the feet over, up dog, downward facing dog. Stepping your feet forward, lengthen your back, and fold. Inhale, rise, high mountain. One more time through, forward fold. Half lift, forward fold. High plank, shift forward, chaturanga. Upward facing dot, down dot. So we're just using that flow to generate some heat. Getting ourselves ready before we pick up those weights. Step your feet forward. This time, bend your knees into chair pose, arms over your head. Forward fold. Lengthen the back. Step back, lower to chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Down dog. Lift your right leg up, one leg dog, and then step that foot forward. Find high lunge. Back heel is lifted. Be sure your front knee is over your ankle. Find your pose. Open to warrior two, extending your arms. Reverse warrior. Right arm reaches back. Circle to the mat. Step back to high plank. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog, down dog. One leg dog, left foot lifts. Step forward. High lunge. Again, find your pose. Warrior two, back heel to the mat. Be sure that left knee stays over that ankle. Reverse warrior. Circle to the mat, step back, half series flow, chaturanga, upward facing dog, down dog. Take a few breaths here. Look forward, step to the top of your mat, lengthen the spine, half lift, forward fold, chair pose, 
forward fold. One more time through, finishing our warm up, lengthen, step back, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, down dog. Right leg extends, one leg dog. Stepping that foot forward, high lunge. Warrior two, reverse warrior. Circle to the mat, step back, half series flow. You could always take those knees down or take it out entirely and hold in down dog. Left leg lifts, stepping forward. High lunge, warrior two. Reverse warrior, circle to the mat, half series flow. And breathe into your down dog. Come forward to a high plank, lower to a forearm plank. Again, shoulders right over your elbows. We're gonna start to tap our feet side to side, right and left, right and left. Keep going, 10, nine, eight, four, three, two, one. Press up to high plank, feet are separated. Roll to your right side, left arm up, side plank. High plank, smile, you're doing a great job. Roll to your other side, side plank. Come down, high plank, one more time each side. I'm gonna add a variation. So you're welcome to hold or add a rotation. You're gonna rotate under, there's one, two, One more. Switching sides. Smile, you're doing a great job. Ready? Hold or rotate. Under and up. Squeeze. Last one. High plank. Knees down, extended child's pose. Continue to reach those arms forward, stretch it out. Downward facing dog. Be sure those weights are where you can grab them. We're moving to them next. Extend the right leg up. Step the foot forward. We're gonna transition to a standing split, but I need your weights end to end. Lift up. Leg lifts, tap and lift, tap and lift. So straight leg lifts, back nice and long. Transitioning from here, bend both knees, crouch down, and then straighten both legs. Here we go, down and extend. Bend, extend. Two more. Good. Bring the foot down. Bring those weights with you. Chair pose, arms at your sides. Bicep curls, palms up. Now hammer curls, palms face each other. So depending on your weight, 
If you have something, I'm holding fives. If you have something heavier, you're probably going slower than me. Whatever weight you got, just control it, don't swing it. You've got this. Now hold in a bicep curl, palms up, hold it. You're gonna step your left foot back, come into your high lunge. Keep holding that curl, find your balance. Now rotate the palms in and then down. We're gonna cross, pull back. Palms down, palms in, pull back, good. Alternating which arm is on top each time. Keep that mind-muscle connection. Squeeze, squeeze. You push, pull back. Two, and one. Go back to that isometric bicep curl. Warrior two. So just set up your foundation. Hands go down. So we're gonna do L arms. That right arm is gonna go straight forward to a front raise. The left arm will go out in front of you. Bring it down, let's go. One, we're staying on this side. Two. You're doing great. <laughs> now, if you needed to, you could go to one arm at a time. That's, this is your halfway point right here. You got it, four to go. Good, bring the weights to the chest. We're gonna transition into triangle pose. You're gonna keep the weights at the chest. I want you to lean over for unsupported triangle. You rise up, you press the arms over your head. Here we go. Extend over, press up, triangle and press. Let's do two more. Last one. Good. Come into that sun pose, bend those knees, start to go up and down. Back straight, just moving around that energy a little bit. You've got this. Now settle into your sun, back nice and straight, pull those elbows up. We got tricep kickbacks, press forward, press forward. So what I'm gonna ask you is that you try to stop the weights here at the waist rather than swinging them up into a curl. Stay focused on the tricep, continue. Back of that arm, control that weight. And again, you can always go to one number at a time. You've got this. Last four, three, two, one. Weights to chest. You're gonna pivot to the back of your mat. Bring the weights down. Step back to downward facing dog. Lift the left leg up. Step it forward. Weights end to end. Standing split leg lifts and start. Ready, bend both knees, tap them together, and extend. Here we go. Good. 
and come down, foot comes down, weights come into your hands, chair pose, eyes forward, bicep curls. Hammer curls, palms in. Keep those knees bent. Last three, two. Isometric bicep curl. Right foot steps back. Find that high lunge. Begin to press and pull. Your chest, your back. Squeeze. You're not leaning forward, you're doing a great job. Last three, two, one. Isometric bicep curl and open to your warrior two. Find those legs first. Then left arm will go forward to that front raise. Right arm will go out in front of you. L arms, here we go. You got it. You got it. Keep going. See, I talk to myself because this is getting hard. Here we go. Nine. Eight. I think I'm feeling yesterday's workout too. Four, three, two, and bring the weight to the chest. Straighten that forward leg, moving into that triangle, unsupported over and press. Over and press really works into the obliques, into that waist. Two more. Great job. Turn into that sun, start to go down and up. Hold it, elbows up. Here we go, press two. Almost there, keep going. Control that weight, press. Extend that arm. There's four, three, two, and one. Weights to chest, pivot back to the front. Hands to the mat, downward facing dog. So bring the knees to the mat. We're gonna do some work here from the floor. So place that weight behind the right knee, Flex that foot, grip the weight, back nice and straight. Start with those leg lifts. Squeeze your glutes, squeeze that hamstring. Keep all of that core center engaged. Now pulse it up, pulse, pulse, so small, squeeze. Keep that belly lifted. You're doing great. Now hold that leg up there. You're gonna come into a tricep push-up. 
Keep that leg lifted. Simply see if you can bend your elbows and tap the forehead to the mat or come close and press up. Here we go. Down and press. Nice and slow and controlled. Keep squeezing that weight. Few more. Last two. Good job, you've got this. And come down. Let's switch sides. Weight behind the left. Grip it. Start with the leg lifts. One. Ready? Pulse. Small. Good. Now hold so those wrists are right under your shoulders. Start to bend. Here we go. Down and up. Tricep push up. Supported. You've got this. Keep squeezing that glute. Leg is up. A few more. Two more, come on. Ah, and release, great job. Place the weights out of the way for now. We have one set of push-ups. You can do them on your knees or lifted. We're gonna do side to side. So start in that position first, wherever you wanna be. Right hand goes wide, lower, cross, and switch left hand wide and down. Here we go. No rush. Already halfway done. Can you do one more each side? And amazing child's pose. Rest, rest just for a few breaths. Now come up, you're gonna flip over, have a seat on your mat. Don't need weights for this. So for now, we're gonna lift into an inclined tabletop. So your fingers are forward. If this bothers your wrist, you might wanna hold onto those weights. Fingers are forward. You're gonna press your hips up. You're gonna come down and go right into a boat pose. Ready? Let's go. Lift and boat. Incline tabletop to work the back. Boat to work the front. Here we go. If you are extending your legs, I encourage you to point the toes. Move with purpose. You'll be more stable that way as well. Last one. Good, lower to the mat, legs up, shoulders up, palms face up, breathe. Alternate your leg drops right and left. Ten to go, 10, nine, eight, six, four, three, two, and one. Knees to chest. Hands interlaced behind the head. Knees over hips for now. Bicycle crunch, here we go. Right elbow, left knee, switch. Ten. Nine, four, three, two, and one. Feet to the floor. You guys are doing amazing. Press up into bridge. Walk those shoulders together. Maybe interlace the hands. Press and hold.
Release, knees to chest. So we're gonna start to slow. We're gonna stretch all of this out. Rock up to have a seat. Extend those legs out in front of you. Sit up nice and tall, reach it up. Exhale, seated fold. So you did great. Now we're just gonna get a benefit of a slower, relaxed stretch. Settle in, enjoy this part two. Good, come up. We're gonna cross, I'm gonna turn and face you. Just place one foot in front of the other, one leg in front of the other. Start to lean forward. In the amount. Now rise up. Other leg goes in front. And come forward again any amount we're just starting to loosen up throughout that low back and especially the hips with our legs like this All right now we're gonna rise up we're gonna go a little bit deeper into the hips place the opposite foot on the bottom we're gonna do double pigeon today so flexing the feet you're gonna stack your ankles on top of your knees. Shins are stacked on top of each other. So this is more intense, at least it is for me. Uh, you are more than welcome to come forward. Just find a stretch, especially in this top hip. Breathe. Rise up, switch sides. So oftentimes, um, you know, I try to always give as many alternatives as I can, but I always want you to find something that you feel as well. So if you could really like, I could completely come forward with that first version of this stretch, this is much more intense. Probably means I need to do more of this, even though it's more intense and a little bit uncomfortable for me what my body needs so I encourage you to always listen to your body just always find that place where you find an edge in your stretch Good. come on up let's lower back down to the mat we're gonna go into happy baby pose ankles over knees reach up gently guide those knees a little closer to the floor and try to connect your whole back to the mat. Knees to chest. Let's extend the left leg out, keep that right knee pulled in. Pause here and really try to pull it down as you extend through the left leg. Switching sides. Again, pull that knee down. Continue to lengthen through the extended leg. switch sides this time we're going into our spine twist drop that knee across the body shoulders down onto the mat turn your gaze down that extended arm and switching sides
bringing your arms into goal post shape. Take your feet to the edges of your mat. And we're gonna do what I call windshield wipers, just dropping the knees side to side. This final release. Just let it all go. You've worked so hard. Now we're gonna move into our resting pose of Shavasana. And I encourage you to not rush off, to allow yourself a moment or two of complete stillness. Ah, take that breath in and then exhale, let it go. Close your eyes. Release, relax, and I'll be back with you in just a moment. Begin our transition out of this pose. I invite you to start to wiggle the fingers, the toes. To slowly start to awaken them with larger movements. And bringing the knees in, roll to your side into a resting position. Just keep those eyes closed for just a few moments. This final check in. This is a great time to acknowledge gratitude for your bodies for today, for what you just accomplished. Tell yourself, great job. And then help yourself up to have a seat on the mat. Let's take a breath in, reach it up hands to a prayer at our hearts, and from my heart to yours, namaste. I hope you all have a blessed day. I truly appreciate you being here and taking the class, and I hope you come back for future Yoga Sculpt classes. Have a blessed day. Hey y'all, one final thing. I just wanna say thank you if you stuck with me all the way to the end of this class. I really, truly appreciate you being here. So I just wanted to add that extra thing. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I'd love for you to do that. Um, it would mean a lot to me. It helps me grow my channel. And if you enjoy this, share it with some friends. You know, everybody I think could benefit from a little bit of movement, uh, some stretching, some strength training in their life. And Yoga Sculpt tends to encompass all of that. And I've even found that through all my years of teaching, people that might not like yoga 
they really enjoy Yoga Sculpt. So um, anyway, share it if you feel moved to do so. And thanks again for sticking with me till the end. Have a great day.